I, I stopped measuring my IR, my ROI and masterminds on an annual basis and started measuring them on, you know, a three to five year return. And even the ones who at the time I was like, this was a waste of money. I shouldn't have done this. Like two and a half years later, I get a text from one of the people that I made friends with in that group, and they're doing this thing that I have direct involvement in, and all of a sudden, there's a $30,000 deal on the table or a $100,000 deal on the table. And it was like, oh, I guess it was worth it. You know, so I there, there's the, the benefits extend so far beyond the confines of the group meetings and the Zoom calls. And if you're only looking at Zoom calls and meetups as the intrinsic value, then you're probably just gonna either do, ma you're gonna like jump around from mastermind to mastermind and complain about all of them, or you're gonna do one or two and then you're gonna quit and then you're gonna call everybody who does them scam artists because you didn't see you didn't see beyond the ability to prospect into the ability to create relationships with like-minded people who you have the potential to do business with later. Um, it's not a matter, like people go to masterminds and treat it like a cold calling in-person <laughs> prospecting opportunity. Um, and it's not, it's just not that at all. It's a place, it's a, it's a focused place to develop, to develop relationships with people you vibe with that are similar in their, um, goals and dreams and when you do that purposefully for a decade there's just no chance it doesn't come back and help you at some point um, I've never been in a mastermind where it has not returned to me equal or greater value the investment that I was put I was putting into it it's just a matter of how long you're measuring the success for and, and what you're measuring success on yeah correct 